Ukraine accuses Russia of a state sponsor of terrorism. After months under siege at the Azov Star steam plant in the southern city of Mariupol, Ukrainian soldiers surrendered and were evacuated to the Russian occupied territory in Donetsk as prisoners with the mediation of the UN and ICRC, which acted as guarantors of their lives. Calling the strike on a prison in a Russian-controlled territory a war crime, Zelensky said in a late-night video address that Moscow had proven with numerous terrorist attacks that is the biggest source of terrorism in the world today. Kremlin-backed separatists in the Donetsk region said the attack on the detention facility in the town of Olenivka killed 53 prisoners of war including some captured after the fall of Mariupol in May. They said 75 others were injured. The ICRC said it was seeking access and offered its support in evacuation of the wounded, reiterating that all prisoners of war were protected under international humanitarian law, irrespective of their location. Russia denied it was behind the attack and has instead accused Ukraine of using a U.S.-supplied rocket system to hit the detention facility near the eastern front lines. Ukrainian security agencies called on the United Nations and the International Committee of the Red Cross to dispatch their representatives for an expansion mission of the site. European Union High Representative Joseph Borrell also condemned Russian armed forces in a statement and accused them of violating the law. That's it for today. Thank you. Goodbye.